Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the dishwasher's water supply underneath the sink. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire dishwasher delivery tube gasket. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new delivery tube gasket. The delivery tube gasket goes on top of the dishwasher and seals where the water supply line goes into the top of the dishwasher. The main reason you'd be changing it out is if you're getting water on the floor because it's leaking. In order to get to the part, we have to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet, so we're going to open up the door and remove the Phillips screws that hold it in place. Now we can pull the dishwasher out of the cabinet. We have to pull it almost halfway out. The delivery tube gasket is in the middle underneath this insulation. If you can't get this out far enough, you're going to have to go underneath the sink and remove your drain line and fill line so you can pull this out far enough to get to it. Remove your dishwasher drain line, follow it up to wherever it goes and remove the clamp. We're going to use a 5 16 on ours. Make sure that when you take these off, they have some towels around. Both the water line and the drain line might put some water out. Next thing we have to do is remove the fill line. It's usually connected to the hot water tap and of course we already had that shut off and the power disconnected from earlier but now we need to remove the line and we can take it off with a 5 8 inch wrench. Next we can open up the dishwasher door and pull the upper rack out enough that we can stick our arm in and then we can reach inside and take out the water spout. It unscrews all you have to do is unscrew it to get it out. Next we're going to move the insulation back so we can see the delivery tube. If yours is loose enough, you may just be able to reach underneath and change it. But so you can see it at home, we're going to push the insulation back. And then the delivery tube comes up from the side. And to get the gasket out, all you have to do is lift up on it and pull it out. Here's the old delivery tube gasket next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new delivery tube gasket in, all you have to do is lift up on the tube. You can lay the gasket down and put the tube back in place. Once you have it in place, if you had to move your insulation, you can stretch it back over the top so we can put it back together. Now we can open up the door and pull the rack out a little bit so we can screw the nozzle back on. Once you have that in, we can push the rack back in close the dishwasher. We can push it back into the counter and reattach it to the top with the screws. And if you had to disconnect the hoses, we can reconnect those. We can hook back up the lines. So we're going to hook up the water line and use our 5 8 inch wrench to tighten it down. Then we can hook up the drain line back up to the air gap. All you have to do is push it on and tighten down the clamp using your 5 16 nut driver or screwdriver. Now that you're done repairing the appliance, you can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and give it a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.